BDS Top 10 Top 10 Unbelievable Cultural Rituals Different cultures consider different ways to understand things. Therefore, rituals always have a great link with the culture's ethos, as you cannot guess anything until you live among them. Let's discuss the top 10 unbelievable cultural rituals that you have not heard before. Number 10. Giving a flower to a Russian Hang on. Before you give a flower to your Russian friend, be aware that you have chosen the right one. Every color and type of flower represents different feelings attached to it. Therefore, kids are taught from the beginning about the color and the type of flower they may give for other purposes. If you have a Russian friend and wish to take flowers, it's better to drop this idea or consult Russians. Flowers like roses represent love, whereas red carnations are given to the veterans who have survived the war or died. Number 9. Gift your Chinese friend Choosing a gift for someone is always quite a tough decision as you have to go through a lot of consideration before you decide something. However, if you are going to buy a gift for your Chinese friend, it's essential to know the meaning of this tradition. Chinese civilization is one of the oldest and still traditional civilizations of the world. With the significant effect of Confucius' teachings, they never leave the practice. The majority of Chinese are superstitious as they have connected different meanings to different things. While giving someone flowers, they always avoid providing the white color as it depicts death. Giving someone a clock or watch can be tricky as it either means ending the relationship or his or her time of death is near. Handkerchief stands for greeting someone before the farewell. If you are looking to gift your Chinese friend a gift, you better ask him or her before. Number 8. Asking salt from an Egyptian in many cultures, it is quite essential to know their way of eating and handling cuisines. Take a look at the Egyptian way of learning about food. Usually, you will find the salt and pepper at a different restaurant, or your guest will offer you. However, if you are invited by an Egyptian, it's better not to ask for salt. Egyptians have a strong connection with hospitality, and they consider it an insult if their guest does not like something they made. Asking salt will be taken as the guest did not enjoy the food. Number 7. Stay punctual in Sweden Sweden is quite different from the rest of the country, and as its population is not more than 10 million, there are many rituals that many do not know about Swedes. Well, this one is true and tested. If you are called for a meeting, office, in a class, or for a lecture, you need to be there at least 10 minutes before. Reaching on time even is sometimes taken as a disciplinary attribute of a person. Either you are meeting someone or going to their home. You need to be there on time so you won't embarrass yourself and your Swedish friend. As being quite introverted, a Swede will never let you know how he or she feels about your late arrival, but will let you think at some point. Number 6. Never pay for food in Pakistan Many did not know this fact. However, it became quite known to many when the Western tourists traveled to Pakistan. It is a ritual in Pakistan that when a person comes to your home, they bring blessings with you. This has a strong connection with Islamic traditions. However, what is different is that if you are going around other places and you went to a restaurant, none will let you pay, no matter how much the bill will be. It is a great shame for them not to host a guest and give him a good time. The northern part of Pakistan is entirely different in this manner. Instead, they would make a space for you in their home and would not let you spend a penny from your pocket. Number 5. Table Manners in Norway how many times are kids being instructed to handle the food in a certain way? The Norwegian etiquettes are quite different in this manner. Norwegians instruct kids from even schools on using the utensils and eating other things in another way. A salad is considered a meal in Norway, therefore you need to be somewhat careful about eating greens as they sometimes fall out of your mouth. Even sandwiches are eaten with a fork and knife and considered disrespected to be eaten from hands. Number 4. No Sharp Objects there is a big difference between the culture of the Netherlands and China. However, one similarity is quite interesting to be told. The taboo among both the nations regarding sharp objects. Suppose you choose gifts such as a knife set, scissors or something else. Better drop this idea. Giving sharp objects to someone is considered as giving them harm at any time. Stay safe. Do not provide any sharp objects for gifts. Number 3. Losing a tooth in Greece There is a strong connection between different cultures with losing a baby tooth. Some prefer to keep it under the pillow and few celebrate it with the exchange of money and coins. However, if a Greek has a kid and loses his or her tooth, they will get preferably through it over the roof. This brings good luck to the family. Number 2. Don't clink the glasses in Hungary Consider it either a custom or a tradition. Hungary's people have a great relationship with their fairy tales and superstition. When Hungary was heavily under attack, the Austrian armed forces celebrated the war with beers and they used to clink the glasses. When Hungarian public witnessed it, they considered it a great embarrassment for them not to act as the Austrian did. From 1849 to 1999 and now, they do not clink the glasses when they are drinking anything. Number 1. Do not share the cost in Turkey 
Suppose a Turkish guest invites you. It's up to him as to how he wants the food to be paid for. Either he will let you know as we will go for half bills or the guest would rather pay. However, do not dare insist the guest to make the bill half if you are a foreigner and he has already forbidden you. You can offer him the next meal from your side and that would be a nice gesture. So which of these rituals incite you the most? Let us know down in the comments section. Well, I hope you like the cultural taboos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.